Lisa, let me guess. You two need a wedding cake? Actually, we need a funeral cake. I'm dying. Okay, I played the cancer card, but you have to play the hand you're dealt. After all, I am dying. You're not dying. What did you just say? Stella, you're cured. So, what are you gonna do with the first day of the rest of your life? I'll get a job. How are you planning on doing that? The same way that every millennial with a funky haircut and no college education does. I will be a barista. It's Timothy with an I. Got it. Actually, the I's at the end. Seriously? We didn't have a future, but now we do, and I want us to be honest with each other about who we are. I don't want anything to change. Love Actually isn't my favorite movie. I'd like you to spank me. I can't keep going outside every time I have to fart. I mean, winter's coming, and I'm not gonna be able to spend that kind of time outdoors. Oh, oh my gosh, what is going on? This doesn't mean what you think it means. It doesn't? Oh, I don't know, I mean, we have, we should talk about this, what we're doing. Maybe later? Yeah, this is between you and your mom. I will stay out of her. It, I will stay out of it. I have always put our family first, but now it's my turn to think about my needs. Mom just left it. Do you want a waffle? Dr. Ching told us creating a positive emotional environment would give you a better shot at Eating cancer. I give up a scholarship to Columbia to stay here and help take care of you. Cancer is expensive. We may have to sell the house. Aiden sells his ADD medication to soccer moms and uses your cancer to guilt them into sleeping with him. You all have secrets you've been hiding from me for the last eight years? I also have access to three flavors of tasty strudel. In the past six months, I did whatever it took to make her happy. How do I fit into her life now that she's not dying? Tell me one good reason why I shouldn't fire you. I have cancer. Is that true? Not the cancer part. The cancer part was the only part. I used to have all the answers, but now I don't know anything at all. You beat certain death. I think you can figure out how to handle uncertain life. So there it was, the end of my cancer movie, but the beginning of my life sentence, which was full of promise. For the first time since I found out I wasn't dying, I was truly happy to be alive. Come on!